What's up y'all? So it's Austin here. I am doing a little bit of a vlog here. I'm on my way to a client meeting. I gotta stop and get some gas real quick before I just stopped off at the Amazon. Um, I guess UPS store to return some Amazon items. It didn't work out afterwards. I'll be heading to Josh York's um, apparel company, it's headquarters in Detroit, um, just to talk some shop about my clothing line, um, Upswing Apparel, that is soon to be launching. And I'm just gonna get some insight from him. Yeah, take it out the bank, go put it up. Got my main hope. Eat late middle, I'm about to get better. Stay in trouble with real. Go run some room. Get down and go chill. What's up, bruh? Wanna confirm some details for the business card before I order it? Let me email me from the like. So it'd be 50 bucks versus 40 bucks, basically? Yeah. Alright, so you're thinking 250? Yeah, probably just do that. Okay, yeah man. Um, I mean, whatever you think, probably name, phone number. Silver, oh there we go. Yeah, so I'll stop and grab me some gas, and the reason why this thing fell. This little, I've seen these before. But I'm gonna try just sitting on the, sitting on the thing. Just sit the thing down on the thing. I don't know, whatever, frick it. What are you doing, man? Yo, man, sorry I had a busy morning. I missed your call. What's the idea? I was thinking of a couple other companies that maybe could be in, like, you could hit up. It would be better to hit them up on a call and just be like, hey, this is what we're thinking, and just give them a quick heads up that the video is coming, and then we'll just bang out a video real quick. You can see the analysis of what his competitors are doing or what he's not, or what he's missing out on or what his competitors are doing and he's not, vice versa. And again, it's just a valuable thing to have, even if we end up not working together in any sort of way, just to understand, hey, here's some ways that you could potentially grow your business down the road. Here's what your competitors are doing. And just a great way to basically spread the word, but also add value. Awesome. You know, you can even pull up in your phone and just kind of show like the search results. Like yeah. type in keywords that he would want to be showing up for. All right, boss man, talk to you soon. I'll talk to you Peace. soon. Peace, bye-bye. And I am at my client's um, headquarters, Cortex Services. You can kind of see them in the background right now. Healthcare IT, but they also do um, healthcare, uh, healthcare IT for a bunch of companies across, actually globally. Um, this is this is them, they're in uh, Farmington Hills. You can kind of see their logo. Let me see if I can. There we go, let me zoom, let me zoom in. Uh, okay, new camera, learning how to zoom. Yas, here we go. All right, taking too long, but that's Cortex Services. All right, I'm gonna not take the camera in. Maybe later on sometime we can do a client meeting or something like that, but for now, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Peace. So just got out of the meeting. It was pretty good. Um, basically, just kind of went over some of the digital marketing lead generation stuff that I'm doing for them. And we are just talking about basically how the campaign's going, all that stuff. And we're, I'm also going to be helping them with their new website. And I did their old website a couple years ago, but we're gonna kind of be reinvigorating it, making it a little bit more simpler, more sleeker. And so we briefly talked about that as well. So now I'm gonna be off to go see my friend, Josh York of York Apparel in Detroit. And yeah, gonna head over there now. Turn right onto Bagley Avenue, then turn left. Start it as soon as possible, and then I told him, you know, you guys hopefully can strike some gold. And I told him I'd call him back, um, and then we're just gonna get him set up. Dude, my man. They'll do Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, McAllen, um, anything around there, Laredo, but they're not that big. Um, and he gave me his cell phone number, and uh, I already have his email, which is what he wants. He's just gonna triage it to the rest of the team. Uh, you know when we get it ripped and fired off. All right. All right, dude, nice work, bro. Killing it. So pumped. I'm saying, hey, boo, states not to do. All right, buddy, good yes. luck. Have yes. fun. All right, man, I'll talk to you soon. Oh, I just got to my friend's headquarters for York Apparel. Um, just kind of saying what's up, and he's actually gonna help me 
with some with some stuff on my clothing line that I'm going to launch soon, Upswing Apparel. We're gonna be able to vlog some of the meetings. I don't know, you know exactly what I'll be showing and not showing because you know I gotta keep some things secretive and keep you guys guessing. You know, you'll see you'll see his operations really impressive and yeah, maybe get some insights on what we're up to. What time? Let's go! <laughs> Alright, I gotta go. Bye. And then they can't make up their mind what time they're going. Oh, right on. So this is Josh. Hey. He's telling me how to make it happen, you know? Yeah. You're making it happen. You don't need to just guide him. Nah, dude. That's Mentor how, swagger. I got a lot of uh, survey responses yesterday. Yeah. Or in like a very short amount of time. I got like 43 or something like that. So this is what you call multitasking. He's gonna be painting this wall while I'm gonna be looking and trying to figure out a couple different suppliers for the clothing. So that's how it's done. This is the entrepreneurial lifestyle. Yeah. Like normally pay for joggers, like wholesale. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call with my my Skype. Here we go. I have to live my house on one Those are Asian companies trying to sound American. Yeah. So when they say price, they're usually saying like, if you order X quantity. Um, do they have it broken down by quantity? If you know what you want, you just gotta look hard enough until you find it. Hmm. And you just Google, Google, Google. Yep. So what it's gonna come down to is you can look at these all day online, but you're, at the end of the day, if you're gonna be specific on cotton fabric, just order there too. Like, try them out, see what you think. That's really the only way to like get an accurate gauge. The other day, I was here hanging out and you were telling me that the industry in general is pretty guarded yeah. um, and you know you're here helping me out and I know we have like you know we're friends and we have a history but we're friends? Uh, I'd say we're buddies you know I was asking if somebody came to you and said hey Josh who are you guys using for your manufacturer and you had a great response I just wanted to yeah. share it yeah the fashion industry is very guarded as a whole mm -hmm. um, but I don't know I like to think I'm a little bit different in that like I, I want people to succeed. I want people to have the same experiences with starting a fashion brand as I did. And like most likely no one's gonna be doing the exact same thing. So like you don't have to worry about that competition. But um, at the end of the day, like, you know, not saying no one can do what I've done, but like the only way, the only reason that we're here right now is because I've put in five years of hard work. And like me giving you a, a supplier at the end of the day, the only way you're gonna make it happen is if you're willing to put in that five five years of hard work and if, if you're willing to like more power to you i'd love to help you be part of that five years down the road like let's collab let's do something together right um, on so execution is king yep executing this paint job but then on the flip side too like you could totally just pick whatever i don't care so there's this um jim Brown quote that, or maybe it's zig ziglar but you can have anything in life just as long as you help others get whatever they want in life or something along those lines yeah i believe that so yeah dude Putting positive vibes out there. Yep. That's, I mean, that's my whole thing in starting this is just like, yeah, it's cool to make a little money for myself, but like if you can do what you love and help other people at the same time, like there's no way you can lose. All right. So we got a game plan here. We got some manufacturers to go for that we can order samples from and try them out, make sure they fit the bill. And then the next step is really just to do some designs, throw them out there and see what people think. And then after that, you know, make moves. I'm getting my logo redone a little bit, and that's kind of the final step, and then hopefully we'll get some stuff rolling out. Ready to rock. Perfect. Yeah. All right, so successful couple hours or an hour or so here. Thanks so much, Josh, for helping me out, giving me the insight, and a little yeah. selfie here. Yeah. Right out. Yeah. Thanks All right. for coming back. Yeah, dude, I'll see you soon. Did you feel weird doing that? So I just got back dark out now and now I'm gonna get some food to eat and then I might go see the Black Panther movie with some bros Amazon package
What could it be? What could it be? So back at my place, I keep on looking up here, but the thing is right there. There's this little screen. Anyway, I'm going to eat some dinner. So I've got some options here. Got some leftover pizza, and I also got some chicken breast. I did some meal prep. I'll flip the camera around here so you can see. Uh, yeah, meal prep stuff. So get some nice chicken breast here. And then I'll probably do some frozen vegetables and then, I don't know, maybe some rice or something. So I'll show you guys what I decide. So total bachelor, but this is what we got. So we got some chicken breast here. We got two slices of pizza and some vegetables that are covered in mozzarella. So we got some protein going on here. Basically, if it fits my macros, you know, it's good to go. I'll use my fitness pal to track. Been a little lax on keeping track, to be honest, but today, I am totally underneath. I actually only ate a little bit of something earlier today, so you're gonna see how this all shakes out. Private protein shake later on, and maybe have another late, late meal later on. <sighs> all right. So, heading to the theater right now to watch Black Panther. Running a little bit late. It's usually 10 to 15 minutes of previews, so should be good to go. And we are at the theater. Phoenix. What's up? All right, Judas, what do we think? Black Panther. Oh yeah, my Black gosh. Panther. I'm Black Panther. Great. You're the Black Panther. Everybody's Black Panther. Well, Spider-Man dies. Stover. Chocolate's out here. Heart <laughs> Iron Man chocolate. dies. It was really sad, but Black Panther lives. So my heart great. beats for chocolate. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> it was solid, though. I would give it, like, seriously, like a 9 out of 10. What'd you give it? Uh, it was unique because it was just a different vibe for Marvel movies. Definitely have to prove. Luke? I think that like one of the best parts of the movie, the beats, it was like a mixture of like, I don't know, traditional African, but then also like... Yeah, I thought they did beats. a great job like kind know. of fusing, yeah, like you said, the culture and Hollywood, and there was a lot of like good messaging in it too. Yeah. Like, subtle job at, right. you know, putting that out there. So you should go see it if you haven't already. Is this a daily vlog? Well, this is just a vlogger. He's just... This is a nightly vlog are you gonna, actually. Are you going to start doing Night it? Night outside. Last food of the day, I'm um, just grabbing a quick protein shake, just putting some 1% and we got my whey, um, gold standard. Probably about like 32, 35 grams of protein right before I go to sleep. And yeah, that's a wrap for the day. Thanks for watching.